Today's video has been pretty requested and it's something that I'm so excited to finally sit down and talk about. It's going to be all about brown lipsticks. Hey guys, it's Magali. If it's your first time on my channel, then welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I have been absolutely obsessed with brown lipstick for the last few months. I literally cannot stop wearing brown tones. It started with the whole like 90s resurgence. I think the brown tones look so good on like Indian skin, desis, especially if you're melanated, especially if you're not like really fair, like medium skin tone to dark skin tone, browns look so good on us. And I know people have preconceived notions about brown as a lipstick shade that it's like not very flattering or that it's very daring maybe so I'm here to tell you that brown lipstick like it's not one kind of shade brown is a spectrum and there are so many different types of browns that will flatter just about anybody so in today's video I'm gonna show you eight different lip products at different price points starting from very very budget super affordable brands to luxury high-end brands as well i have indian brands featured korean brands one japanese brand and even the browns are all sort of different tones i have like your medium milk chocolate kind of browns i have like dark chocolate kind of browns and i also have some like pinky browns, nudie browns, that kind of thing. I'm gonna talk you guys through each and every product and I will show you a hand swatch as well as a lip swatch. I am making this video in partnership with Amazon India which is where I got all of these lip products so please check out the description bar below for details on each of these products and they have really really good discounts running right now i feel like amazon's my go-to all of the time but if you're looking to buy any of these they have a blockbuster day sale running until today so you should go quickly and take advantage of the really good deals that are going on right now so if you'll notice not just my lipstick but my entire face makeup today is sort of monotone brown like just warm tones and if you would like to know the other products i use on my face then i have all of those details also listed in the description bar down below i'm gonna start with showing you the really affordable budget products move on to the mid-range and then go towards the high end so you can choose chapters or timestamps below if you would like to jump to any particular section the first product that i want to talk about it's actually a tinted lip balm it's by fay beauty their kafi cool lip balm the tint is actually pretty strong you can see that it's a nice dark brown but since it is a lip balm it goes on semi sheer but it's really 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 pretty and if you want to try a brown lip but you are intimidated I would highly recommend trying out a tinted lip balm first this does have SPF 20 as well it's not super moisturizing so it's really good for daytime you will have to reapply it really frequently like it's not a lip stain or anything so it does disappear after a little while the next one I want to talk about is a matte lipstick from the brand Sugar Pop in the shade Chocolate. I have actually made an entire video dedicated to Sugar Pop as a brand where like I did a full face of Sugar Pop and I'm going to link it in the upper right corner. This is a brand by Sugar Cosmetics but it's actually super affordable and they do manage to give pretty good formulas at really pocket friendly prices. This is a dark chocolate brown like a true brown but it looks so beautiful on it is one of those slightly more daring ones i guess this one would suit dark skin people also beautifully it wears pretty comfortably throughout the day it lasts quite nicely it does not feel drying if you eat something you might need to reapply it especially from the center part of the lips the next one that i have is actually from mama earth this is your soft matte long stay lipstick the shade is called mocha brown i was expecting a more coffee toned brown but this is actually a nudie brown or a pinky brown it's mostly a flattering pink with a little bit of those brown tones and it is kind of warm it goes on pretty smoothly this one did feel ever so slightly drying like if your lips are already dry you will feel this on so make sure that your lips are really well moisturized this one is a very natural easy to wear color so even if you don't normally wear a full face of makeup i think this one is really great next up i have a lipstick from love child by masaba this shade is called hay sugar they are mid brown they also have a like darker chocolatey brown more like the sugar pop i didn't buy that one so i bought the medium nudie brown honestly swatched this one looks really really close 
to the previous lipstick that I showed you guys, the Mama Earth one. They are almost dupes, uh, but the Love Child by Masaba one does go on more smoothly and it's more hydrating. This is also more of a pinky nudie brown than a pure brown shade. But again, something that's really easy to wear. I won't grab all of the attention, but is something that will flatter most people. Next up from Revlon, I have a super lustrous lipstick. If you're mumbo lipsticks, she probably wore Revlon at some point in time. And this is also a brand that's very strongly associated with the 90s brown lipsticks. So this shade is called Superstar Brown and I actually featured this one in like a 90s makeup tutorial that I did recently. Also gonna link this in the upper right corner. I broke down all of the different elements of 90s makeup. Again when I saw this name Superstar Brown I was expecting more of like a pure brown color but it's not really pure brown and it also has a sort of cool undertone that I really like. It doesn't dry down to a full matte. It has a little bit of sheen that I also really like. It is a very pretty shade. The next product that I have is from Korean brand Peripera. Honestly, I don't like liquid lipsticks most of the time, especially when they're liquid mattes. I feel that they are very drying and they very quickly feel uncomfortable on my lips and they settle into all my lip lines. They look and feel terrible on me. So if you also have a similar experience, then I would recommend Korean liquid lip products, they are way better. They are a little bit more silicone-y and they have a lightness to them. So you'll never actually feel them settle on your lips like that. They go on really comfortably and they're not going to accentuate those lip lines or feel weird. So this is one of their new colors in this range that they launched a few months ago and it's called Coco Nude. See that this one does have a pretty cool undertone. It's a little bit different than what I expected. When I put it on the second time, I found myself really liking it and I've been reaching for it more often. This is also a full pigmentation lip product. This is something you don't have to really worry too much about reapplying because it does not fade easily. And when it does, it leaves behind a little bit of a tint, a little bit of a stain that just looks so pretty. The next one I have to share with you guys is also another liquid lip product and it's also Korean. It's by the brand called Romand. It's their Juicy Lasting Tint. Also one of the new shades in this range and it's called Nucademia Peachy Brown. And this isn't your standard full pigmentation lip color unlike the Peripera. This one has a sort of translucency to it. So it's going to interact with whatever your natural lip color is and look a little bit different on everyone because it's gonna look really flattering on everyone but it won't look exactly the same. Applying one layer of this will give you a lighter color. If you go in with a second layer there is more pigmentation but it's still not full pigmentation. It really does have an amazing formula. It has a nice like grip fragrance. This is also one of those products that does leave a tint or a stain even as it fades throughout the day. So if you are like me, someone who's really lazy with three applications, then you should definitely check this one out. The final product that I have, definitely luxury beauty. It's from Shiseido. It's their visionary gel lineup. I really wanted to try a lip product from Shiseido and I ended up going with this shade Metropolis Dark Brown. But it does still have warm brick red kind of tones that give it a lot of of dimension and it's what I actually wore through most of this video a really light texture I'm a really big fan of this one those were all of the different brown lipsticks I have to share with you guys today although this is not my entire collection of brown tones but these are some that I've been obsessing over recently and I also wanted to present you guys with a varied range at varied price points I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if even one of you decides to try a brown tone lip product because of it then my job here is done if you have any questions that you think I can answer then feel free to leave me a comment below or if you would just like to chat also I would love that if you have a favorite brown lip product I would also really love to hear from you guys please don't keep it to yourself share it with all of us in a comment thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time